Okay, welcome. We want to mix up a glaze. We are running out of our favorite glaze. It's kind of our favorite glaze. Jen's Juicy Fruit. Yeah. It's our favorite glaze, and we need to mix some more. So I'm going to mix a batch up, and I got my handsome assistant. This is Jake. He's going to help me out here. He often helps me out when we're mixing glazes. So we're going to get started. And Maya, too. Um, but what we'll need is, let me show you something. This is my favorite... <laughs> Our favorite book. So John Britt, you guys should all get this book. And I'll put a link. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. That's one of my favorites. This is John Britt right here. You'll probably see him online. I've never met him. I hope to one day. He is a stud. He's like a Cone 5 glazing Jedi. But this has hundreds of glaze recipes for Cone 5 glazes. We're all electric in this in my garage here. Uh, at the local community college, they have a gas kiln, they have a soda kiln, and they have a wood kiln. But here, I just got my electrics, but that's okay. That's all I need for right now. So we're going to look up Jen's Juicy Fruit. I think it's on 177. We are going to, I'm going to show you our process for mixing up a glaze. So let me also show you real quick here. Okay, so here is our glazing area. We got all sorts of elements and then I just got some new elements right over here by my daughter uh, new materials that I didn't have I basically have every glaze in this book I think every material in this book so here's how this works we're gonna do this one right here called Jen's Juicy Fruit Ionic. we're gonna do the iron one uh, which has a lot of rutile these there's two of them here one's iron one's copper and we're going to do the iron one because I love how the gr the blue, the rutile comes off. So here's some examples of that glaze. Uh, that's Jen's Juicy Fruit on a, on a matte glaze. Um, and then this is Jen's Juicy Fruit on a black. Oh, it just is gorgeous. Here's another one. We, we really dig this glaze. Okay, so the first thing we like to do is write down... the glaze recipe so I have a this is canvas so you can mark on canvas you know all over the place so we're gonna do we're gonna do Jen's juicy fruit here the iron one and I'm just gonna write down the different elements we have nefsi Are you gonna do it times two? no I'm just gonna do what they have here nefsi silica uh, whiting uh, the next one's kaolin. The next one is frit. Frit 3124, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then we have some lithium carbonate, our favorite. And, and it's very expensive. And then we got some soda ash here. And then you have the line. So the line, everything above the line equals 100%. Now, can you see my book here? Everything above the line equals 100%. Everything below the line is like extra stuff. I didn't see, oh yeah, Bet Nice down here. Okay, and then below the line we have rutile. We have Ryox, red iron oxide, and then we have ben bentonite. Okay, so each one of these, but will you write this down for me? So this is for a hundred, for a hundred percent or a hundred grams. Uh, Forty-four point five for nefsi. Okay, silica ten point nine. Uh, whiting is ten. Kaolin is nine point one. Uh, Frit twenty uh, thirty-one twenty-four eight point two. 8.2, yep. Uh, lithium carbonate, 8.2. And soda ash is 9.1. 9.1, yep. And then rutile is 5.5. Ryox is 1.8. And bentonite is 2. Okay. Jaken has written down, these are the elements, this is how much of each element for 100, but we're not making just 100 
grams, we're going to make 1,000 grams. So Jake, write 1,000 up here, and then we're multiplying by 10, which basically we just move the decimal point over. So go ahead and do that all the way down, Jake. So this one be 445. Uh-huh. 109. No. <laughs> Close. So this, we'll just move the decimal place over so it becomes 109. Oh, 10. 10 becomes what? 100. 100, yep. Finish that on out, bud. Okay, so now we got our glaze recipe written down. We've multiplied it out for how much we're going to need. Now we're going to gather all these elements up. I'm going to stack them right here, and then we're going to start weighing them out. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are. We got all of our elements. Jake and counted them up. One, two, three, four, five, ten. And he c confirmed it here. One, two, three, four, five, ten. We got a boatload of lithium carbonate, so we, we're going to put this in uh, boxes. But before we open up any of the elements, we need to do what, Jake? Now, what do we need to wear before we start? We need to wear some masks. So I'm going to get some masks here. <coughs> here you go, bud. All right. Yeah, we'll probably turn the audio off for this point and just go voiceover later. So we're going to use our masks, and we'll get to it. We got our we got our glaze mixed up. We got all of our elements in there. I do what's called a dry mix, shaking it up with the top firmly sealed beforehand. And that just gets all the raw elements mixed together so it's not clumps of rutile and clumps of silica, but it's all kind of mixed in. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a container this exact same size. I get these from Walmart. Uh, they're, it's the cheapest way I found to uh, store glaze mixes. But if, it, if I have it dry elements up to here, then I'm going to fill half as much as I have dry elements, a, a separate container with water, and then I'm going to mix the dry into the wet. So uh, oh, let's, let's not get that all wet there, Bubba. Okay, so I'm going to get that set up, and we'll do that. Anything else we need to do, buddy? Uh, all right, here we go. Guys, if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and be the first one to know when we release new videos or when we have a new batch coming out of the kiln. If you want to see the gear or the materials we use, check out the link in the descriptions. And lastly, if you have questions or thoughts, leave me a comment in the comments below. I'm here to help. See you next time.